Hey friends, Pastor Greg here from St. Paul's United Methodist Church and Wesley Foundation. And today I'm thinking about repentance. Now, when we hear the word repent, many of us think of uh, someone standing on the, on the corner, maybe shouting about uh, sin and, and hell. Or maybe uh, it, it just makes us think of, uh, of feeling uh, guilt or shame about our own sin. Whatever the case, for most of us, when we hear the word repent, it doesn't conjure up very positive images. But this week, uh, in our worship, as we continue uh, through the season of epiphany, a season of light and, and of discovery, we're going to be talking about a time when Jesus actually talked about repentance. And, and what's fascinating is when he spoke about repentance, it wasn't a message of, of sort of fire and, and brimstone. In fact, when people responded to what Jesus had to say about repentance, they didn't uh, feel guilt or shame or, or even have a religious experience. They simply uh, responded to an invitation to a deeper connection with God and with one another, a, a new kind of relationship. They turn from one way of, of pursuing these things to a, a different, maybe even a better way of pursuing these things. So what if repentance isn't really a, a, just a call to stop sinning, but it's actually an invitation to choose something better, to choose a connection with God and with, and with others that is so much greater than the things we sometimes choose. Things like our own selves, our own power, our privilege, our security, or our comfort. What if the call to repent is a call to let go of the lesser things so that we might be ready to embrace the better things? We'd love to invite you to join us as we talk more about this this weekend in our worship services. We worship in person each week at 9 and 10.30 a.m. on Sundays uh, in downtown State College. And we also live stream our worship at uh, 10.30 uh, on our YouTube channel where you can join us live or, or anytime after. We'd love for you to be there and to be part of this ongoing journey with us. A journey of including, not excluding of questions, not answers, of relationships, not being right. A journey of learning to say yes to the greater things that we're all longing for. We hope to see you this weekend.